All right, guys, to get, today I'm going to talk to you about a tool and unboxing video here. I'm showing the page from um, a 2012 Chevrolet. And one of the things I noticed here as I was going through this, as I was about to do a, a tire rotation, normally you have this TPMS sensor. That's your tire pressure monitoring system, sensor matching process. And you always used to do this by adjusting the tire pressure. But what I noticed on this particular new vehicle is it talked about this, this idea of placing the relearn tool against the tire. And I hadn't seen that before, and I wanted to look into it. And in the course of looking into it, I ended up buying another tool that I'm going to take you guys through today. But let's talk a little bit about that tool. So one of the, what I ended up figuring out by looking at one of these GM um, bulletins is there used to be a tool, a special tool for dealers called the EL46079. Or it's also known as the J. And that was what they used to test TPMS sensors and, and do this relearn procedure. And as I noticed reading this bulletin, I noticed that, well, starting in January of 2011, they started to disable this manual relearn capability and tell dealers not to do this, letting out the air from the tires and all that, because they were finding out that this could actually not be that reliable. And they, they decided that, well, you know, this tool is pretty expensive, and you'll see why in a minute. And they came out with this new tool called the EL50448. And usually when you see these ELs, it's probably uh, made by a third party rather than Kent Moore, so, um, rather than the J, which t typically is a, is a tool from the Kent Moore catalog. So after I saw this tool, I decided to go do some investigation. So I went out to the site that I usually go to to look at GM special service tools. This is the official Bosch site that you know, GM provides its dealer uh, ordering for. And I see here's that other tool that they talked about, the J46079. It's actually up to the A level. Looks like a pretty involved deal, like a Tech 2 kind of thing, and priced about that much too. If you notice over here, this, this puppy is $820.33, right? So this is definitely not something you know, that I'm interested in doing. But from this, I was able to jump to the tool that the bulletin talked about, which is this guy, the EL50448. And this is a lot cheaper, at least for a dealer, $75.61. And, uh, you know, being that you guys have seen me, I use uh, clone tech twos and clone MDIs. I don't have a problem using a clone tool if it's good. And of course, the first notice I saw here is counterfeit tools, right? So it got me wondering, well, how can I get very a good high quality clone to this 5048, which is apparently made by a company called Orange Electronics, if, if you look at the outline here. So what I did is I popped on over to eBay, looking at this picture, and I also found some other pictures online of the official tool that we're looking at here from, from GM uh, dealer catalog. And I did a quick search on eBay, basically GM, this number, TPMS tool, orange, and I got a bunch of hits. And you can see right away some of these tools um, have the kind of orange electronics logo on the front, and you scroll through, and some do not. And I decided, well, you know, I I'm going to figure these ones that don't have the logo are probably a little bit lesser quality in terms of how good they are, plus their price, right? You know, nine bucks, 10 bucks. And you scroll through here, you can see there's just a, ver a variety of these. Some of these tools uh, actually have uh, totally different writing and, and they like are a little bit of a different design, right? So there's probably not an exact knockoff of the GM tool. So I eventually ended up picking one of these. Um, the one I went with is actually not showing here anymore right now because it was just a single seller, but I paid about $16. It was roughly like this guy here. And I picked that up. And that's what I'm going to show you today. We're going to open it up, and, and then I'm going to actually do a video on using it on one of the vehicles I've got here. And I'll link that, you know, up towards the top of the, the video here. So let's take a look at this guy. So um, this, um, you know, I can't say every one of them is going to be like this. This particular one just came, you know, wrapped in a, a plain white plastic container. I got a 9-volt battery handy here because I, I did read that that's what the thing requires uh, to power it up. And opening it up here... It's like a plain white box and popping it open. I don't expect to see anything rocket science in here. And uh, this is our guy, right? So he matches our picture that we were interested in with the orange electronics. Now, he, it might not be an actual orange electronics one. It may be a copy or a clone, but I'm trying to get it as c close as I can to that. I can see here on the back is where we would pop our, our battery in. And can't really see any exact markings for plus and minus but there is a little outline on there so it looks like it might be like this if it's not I'll change it yep that's it it's got the transmitter going 
And basically that's it, right? So the, the deal with this is instead of letting the tire pressure out until um, the, the remote control door lock receiver is able to detect the, sen the TPMS sensor, you just kind of hold this guy up next to the, the tire, give him a click, and he will stimulate the sensor into sending the same type of signal. Very simple to do. And uh, let's go put it to use, right? I mean, I'm pretty satisfied so far. The back FCCID, all this kind of stuff looks very, very similar to the original one that I was seeing photos of uh, from, from, the, from the dealer catalog. And right, 15, 16 bucks instead of 70. Sounds like a pretty good deal. So um, let me go ahead and uh, I'm going to link that video that I'm talking about up here in the top corner here so you can check it out. But uh, I hope this helps you out. Um, basically, this is the, the extent of the video here is just to alert you to this tool, uh, show you the one I went with, why I went with this one. That, that's all there is to it. It's super easy to do. Nine volt battery, hit the button. That's all there is to it. And uh, check out the other video link to the top to see this guy in use. I hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching. If you find this useful, please like and subscribe.